This is your source for local news in the heartland. This is KTBO's Good Morning Heartland. Good morning. It's time for our entertainment segment, which means it's time to talk movies with Scott Kellum. How are you doing? I'm great. Yourself? I'm doing great. What are we going to be talking about today? Today we're going to be talking about The Dark Knight Rises, mm -hmm. the final conclusion of the Dark Knight trilogy. And I got a question for you. Who's your favorite Batman? We've had all these actors play Batman since we were kids. Which one was your favorite? I would say Christian Bale. Okay, well you can't say Christian Bale because we're even moving. Oh, okay, fine. Ne next. Um, oh my God, what's his name? Um, we got we got a time limit. I don't know. If folks not George realize. Clooney. What's the other one? Michael Keaton. No, what's the other one? Val Kilmer. There we go. Oh wow. <laughs> okay, we're moving on. Um, <laughs> Wait, Michael Keaton played Batman too? Oh my, <laughs> you are so young. Okay, let's talk about this movie and we'll come back to that later. We have the third final movie mm -hmm. from Christopher Nolan and Christian Bale mm -hmm. for the Dark Knight series. And uh, let's just say as a whole, mm -hmm. great trilogy. I honestly, they just, they could have done a few things better, but as a whole, you just can't find such great across the board mm -hmm. with everything, acting, scenery, uh, stunts, the whole shebang, great job. This movie, although it's two hours and 44 minutes long, mm -hmm. it, worth it, totally worth it. Does it We're, seem like that long? It, yeah, I mean, it gets to okay. a point where you're, you're like, okay, what time is it? Okay, it's 11 right. o'clock and it should be wrapping up. Uh, but, you know, I, on my soapbox, I would say I would rather see this in its entirety than pay twice like in Harry Potter and Twilight uh -huh. and they're gonna do with The Hobbit. Uh, they wanna get more money out of folks, right. so they're splitting them up into two here. Mm -hmm. You know, they said, no, we're gonna put it all in, in one movie and, and they did just a great job. And you know, if you're a comic book fan, you're gonna love this movie. Okay. I mean, it sticks to some of the original parts of the comic books that you kinda expect to see a few hidden things. Mm -hmm. um, and, and not a spoiler, but you know, everybody said, well, this is it, this is when we're done. Uh, well, they've actually had a few characters come out and say, well, this is the last one for Christopher Nolan. We're still locked in for a few more movies, so we're going to start seeing some. Nice. We're going to see some offshoots, and I think we're going to see another uh, Batman. Different good. different Batman, which I think everybody's ready for. Right. You know, we're all kind of tired of Christian Bale. <laughs> Did a good job, but, you know, that, that voice just gets ridiculous at points. All right, so question yeah. for you. Go ahead. Batman or Superman? Oh, Batman. What about Spider-Man? Spider-Man has no... I was going to say Batman all the way. Batman all the way. Oh, yeah. George Clooney. Who's Michael Keaton? <laughs> I didn't say who's Michael Keaton. I just oh, asked who played Batman. Michael. I think I was maybe like seven or eight when that happened. Like, really? Are you, are you trying to like dig the knife in there? <laughs> I was only seven or eight. You're old. <laughs> Thanks, so, Ella. Out of five stars, what do you? I'm gonna it? give this one a five. A you five? can't go wrong with All it. Right. If you got time, go see it. All right, date movie or no? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. All yep. right. Thanks for that. Not a problem. <laughs> we'll be right back.